the number one mythic and not by me <laughs> by someone else on the r spike sovereign this is the deck you got the number one mythic with not four months ago three months ago whenever eldraine was released which is what it looks like but I actually recently got to number one mythic with this and i thought that was pretty cool i mean it's an old school deck but there's some new tech here. we have escaped to the wild for a little bit of extra ramp otherwise of course the adventure pa package edge wall innkeeper fey wishes brace and borrow bone crush and love struck bone beanstalk this is what, like what you usually see in these decks also we have great haunch we have incubation and kagruit to find the edge wall innkeeper but I thought this deck was a little bit a little bit special that it's a little bit old school. And I thought it's very, very impressive that it got to number one mythic with this. Uh, I think that this deck is probably... Here's what I'm gonna say. If you are... If you think about a deck to pick up to easily rank up with, I don't think that this is the deck. I think that this suits the number one mythic meta because usually... I don't have that, you know, much experience of high mythic meta, but usually it seems to be like there's more control style decks up there. Usually players, the best players usually like to play those decks. There's a little bit of mono red there, but uh, much less. Uh, and that's very, very good for the deck, because this deck seems to struggle a little bit in the, like, you know, the mono red matchup, which is like 95% of normal games. Uh, but it seems to be very, very strong against slower opponents, mid-range decks, control opponents, stuff like that. So it can really, really prey on those decks. So if that's something you're facing up against, you know, again and again, it definitely pick this deck up because it's very, very strong against that. Yeah, that's enough of me babbling. Let's jump into the game, shall we? Otaske. This is the number one mythic deck. But from what I've heard, I read a little bit about this deck. Uh, they said that it's very hard to pilot correctly. That does not bode well. <laughs> Does not bode well for a thing who's like me. Oh, this is a good hammer. We have Edge Wall and we have the Clover. Okay, yeah, this is a keep. Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's a, a good appeal. Oh my god, I want that also. I mean, he's blue white though, so I don't think it's gonna do that much against him. I think that the things we have here is probably gonna be better. If he's blue white control. Maybe we don't know it's blue white control, but it probably is blue white control. Is he holding up a counter spell? I don't want my lucky clover to be counted, so I'd rather play this and get that counter. No, okay, did not count that. Interesting. I thought he would. Oh, he's gonna bounce it. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> what the frack is this? <laughs> Target creature the Pokemon get minus X minus zero. Or X is your devotion to blue. He was not holding up uh... Whoa! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Staggering inside also. But... Okay. Well, uh, I think we need to get rid of that thing at least. Uh, we could... Nah, he might have a counter. I could play it during his turn also. But, but now nah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna smack him. Smack! Smack a tank! I tried to make... Hmm. Staggering inside is a tricky card. Very, very tricky card in my opinion to make work perfectly. Okay, this guy down. Uh, we know that he's holding up this, and now he has can't spell. That was Vito. Yep, now we can smack in. Schmick, schmick, smock, smack. Otaske, what a weird brew we're up against. Well, we could just be in stalker. Because he's... up. Oh, yeah, that's that, yeah. Okay, no, we don't mean so, because we have that on top. So we're gonna... You're gonna play Lucky Clovers until we resolve one. Okay, we did resolve one. Perfect. And... Cancel the attacks. Because <laughs> he has this... We know he has thrown this thing. Okay, we need to get... The little bit. Okay. Yeah, this. Does he have another? Staggering insight. Hmm. Man, look, pepper tastes good. <laughs> I wonder how many thousand bottles of dragon. He had another! Okay. Yep. He came prepared. And then three manas. To the third time run. No, 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 no. Oh, main. Would I allow. Oh, yeah, I can put this down. That's fine. No, 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 can't I? No. I mean, I don't think. He's gonna have another <laughs> this singer. I don't think so. 
And I might be wrong. Okay. Seems fine. Smack him. I don't think that he's gonna have more cams also. The problem is here. The problem is here. We can we decline the triggers here? Because as we want to keep our brazen bow. Bay of wishes. Okay, granted. It's gonna grant yourself. Mr. Otaske. Man, if this was an adventure, that would be so cool. <laughs> Get five or three is Oh! That thing. Uh, well. Alna. Uh, uh, can we? Yeah, we can climb this. And we decline this. And unfortunately, it countered everything. But now we can uh, grant it. Triple grant it. Oh, wait, I could have played this first. That would have been even better. <laughs> that would have been a thousand times better than what's going on right now. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I should have just been stocked first. That was a big mistake. I need, to, I need to slow down, I think, when I play this deck. Uh, what do we need there, even? We have a little bit of everything. Red or green, that's gonna be useful. Return to nature. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe storm crap. <laughs> so we can clear up everything. Yeah, I see. And then... Um, the haunch at some point. We're gonna, we're gonna need a haunch at some point. Would be sweet with some mana here also. Once and future. Yeah, I want to play this because I've never played this card. And unfortunately, he's just gonna play this next time. Then I'm cleansing. And yeah, I messed up with the beanstalk. God damn it. Brains! <laughs> God, brains. Oh, it could have been glorious. It could have been glorious. But we have once and future though. So we can return, let's see, what can we return? We can return target card, okay. So we can return one of these. One lucky clover. And if three green mana was spent. Set the card, turn those cards to your hand. Put one other. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can return both. With once and future. Once and future. This is what we've never seen. Hey. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. That means we can beanstalk. Oh. <laughs> I'm a beanstalker. Oh, he didn't have the malice, that's why. Oh. That's gonna sting. It's gonna sting, mister. But he don't have the malice. Gonna sting pretty badly. <laughs> okay. Fertile footsteps. Times three. Here we come. Here we come. Rest. We have double red, we have double blue. I think we'd go some more for rest of this once and future is to call cast an island. We could cast once and future now. Or we could draw some cards. Hmm. It's gonna clear problem next time. But I guess that's fine. That is fine. Another one of those. Ah, no, no, no. Keep out the brace more. Fast turn. Yeah, I, I misplayed a lot already. <laughs> I, mis I know I misplayed a lot. But. I think that this deck is so solid I'm gonna win anyways. Oh, the Thran of this singer, of course. <laughs> Getting the minus. This card, why, why is this in the deck? Everything else seems pretty... S uh, this seems weird. Mm. And the deck can be saved by Fey of Wishes. <laughs> That's what we've shown here. So if you can search for the exact answer that you need at any point. Then uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Time wipe. Do we return our Fey of Wishes? Probably can do that. Um, Bone Crusher and Storms. <laughs> Whoop, up to that. 
We want even more things from the grave. Or from the side, I mean. We don't have enough yet. Yep, granted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it gave up because he realized it's gonna take a bit. Bilto! How many scrubs are we gonna crush with this? That's what I'm wondering. We have Edgewall. I mean, you never, ever, ever mulligan would ever Edgewall, right? Edgewall is the boss. He's the king. The king of beer. <laughs> the king. You don't mulligan the king. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Edge Schnall. In Schneeper. And other witches other. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I think I'm gonna bounce these. That's just gonna be way too slow, probably. Mm hmm. Call him familiar. Yeah, it's gonna be another long, blind game. <laughs> how we love these games, and how long they are. <laughs> Cut that. And then we're gonna have to watch this. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, might as well. Might as well get it over with. Might as well get it over with. It's funny, whenever I play this, I never get Call of Familiar together with Witches. Either. I either get only ovens or only Call of Familiars. But for other people. And also, I complain a lot. I think that, I think that part was the secret. Too. Okay. Pretty nice combo. Pretty nice one. I will agree. <laughs> will agree to that. Okay. Okay, yeah, we need to. We need to. Hunch! <laughs> Hunch! And then. Heart's desire. This is my heart's desire. Built up. This is my heart's desire. I think. I think I'm even gonna sacrifice the innkeeper. If he wants a block. If he wants to trade his cat for the innkeeper, that's fine. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna. I think he's very fond, fond, fond of that cat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Music getting up. Cat being baked in oven. That's what's going on. Battle music, yeah! No damage. Filto. Night, night back hammer, okay! You put in your, a little bit of your own spice there. I see. That's not what I was expecting. We'll admit. We'll admit that much. Uh, escape into the wild, sir. I think. Do we bounce the ambush? The problem is... Here's what I think we do. We go in with Love Strike Beast. First. And he's just gonna block with the cat, so no. <laughs> this shit is not gonna work. Yep. Yep. And are you gonna use the Witcher Summoner? I did. Did indeed. Did indeed, yo. Did indeed. I think probably as... Play the love track beast and then bounce a nice back ambusher. And the or when he attacks in with it or something. Okay. Does he do it one more time? Yes, he does it one more time. Okay. okay. Second man face. Gonna turn it. Escape into the bars. Ooh, that's that's a nice set of cards, actually. We could now almost play wishes, but we can't exactly play wishes. Do we take a little bit of damage? I mean we're gonna take a little bit of damage in any case. But the question is if we brazen borrower during his turn. We could just Let's put this down. 
Don't have the card. <laughs> don't more cards, don't more cards, don't more cards. <laughs> and draw another card. Okay, so we need something to clear on these. First order of business. Clear up the ovens. And then we can deal with this, I guess. Or mass manipulate. Mass manipulate is bored. Okay. Uh let's see what you have in the side one business. Let's check the side of the board. Okay. Oh, so is a spyglass also. It's not the worst. Because then it can't use. Freaking ovens. Yeah, yeah, that's probably how we need to do things. Which is Aben? Oh, yes, Garokazo. God damn it. <laughs> what do we name? Do we name Garok? Do we name Garok? Nah, we name which which is Aben. And then we probably waste some of these cards that we have in Exile. And to life. The bone crusher and the fey is gonna go away, but that's just. I just have it as it Fun on land. And yeah, past turn. Please can't use the ovens now. Oh, he should have maybe gone in there. Night pack ambush though. I just go. <laughs> hmm. Now I think we're in fine chapter. Now we only need to deal with this. Oh, wait, I could have double burned this, couldn't I? That would have been an easy way of getting rid of it. Oh, but I didn't have the manas. Didn't have the manas. It's getting an army. It's getting an army. Uh, we could maybe first check out the top cards. Let's see, another edge wall. Do we draw ourselves out of this? Is that the way we do it? it might be. I'd just be that we swarm in there. There's gonna be a lot of cards. Let okay, there we have another fake wishes. Reserve. I think we have like too many cards also. Granted. And let's see it. Put on the top or bottom of their library. We want to just exile that shit or Domris ambush it. Ambush. ambush this guy. And let's see here. Yes, there's a globe. <laughs> Found the globe. Got him! <laughs> Basically just me going. Nim, 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 nim. I mean, it's a fine. We don't have, you know, the edge wall. We don't have the clover, but we have everything else. We have some low drops, beanstalk. This guy is sometimes really, really good. Like when you get a freebie with this. When you get to actually kill something and put him down. Doesn't happen as often anymore, though. Usually things have hexproof or they have more than two power. Everyone's like, learn to play around this guy. For the most part. But sometimes. I mean, sometimes you get an Ajani or something. <laughs> crack, snack him. Crack a snack him. You crack a snack the Ajani. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Someone else is tuning in and doesn't know magic, doesn't watch this channel, and they're like, crack a snack the Ajani, and everyone's like, <laughs> what is he talking about? What is he talking about? I'm talking about love. I'm talking about our people. Our people. You remember our people. I'm gonna tag this ASMR. What is it called? A ASMR? That's what it's called. <laughs> when. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. Because uh, that might get me demonetized. Demonetized. Nerdak, though. He uh, is, a, is a slow moving man. With one mission to play the mountain. Score spitter. Play the mountain. Haste. What, what is that guy called? The, the thing haste, which you pay one and it can't be blocked by walls or whatever it is. 
I think that guy got so much worse now that everyone is playing uh, the Melatis thing, though. Do we put down the edge wall now? And leave him vulnerable? Nah. Nah. Nah, I say! I'm keeping him down. Keep him up. Keep him hidden. Keep him safe. And then... And there's a moment to strike. There's a moment to strike. To strike. Nordak. Water your grave. Could mean the mere discard. Could mean Esper control. Could mean Grixis fire submersion. Could mean our people. I think Nordak needs some uh, poetry, or I need some poetry because this is definitely, definitely one of the s slower games in my life. Okay, now he casually just played. Okay, well. Ramp! Mad turn. And passed on. That's all we wanted to do. Just wanted to ramp a little bit. No like them. Wow, five color nonsense? It looks like. They can just put down the troops. The troops! Yep, yep, they already got it. Show them! So don't crush her. I have to crush them. <laughs> Nordak is a slow man. He's a slow player. It's not a missing green there. It's got all the colors. Nordak. Smackdown. Smack a hoosh. I think we do this. All the Why not? And play this. And play this. And let's see here. Well, we're not gonna be able to play both anyway, so we might as well just draw a card this. And next turn, yeah, we might be able to just chain into another escape. That might be the way. Might be the way. This deck is also very good. I mean, it's the number one mythic deck. <laughs> but I thought... I don't know why. I thought that Adventures wasn't as good anymore. I don't know. You don't see it as much. I think just... A lot of things in Maddox just... Things aren't as popular, I guess. Even though they're very good still. But people just get tired of them because they've seen it a million times or something. Except for that one. <laughs> that one never gets old, apparently. Uh, do we just... I think we just escape more. More and 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 more. More and 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 more. Wait, which one was Exile last? Oh, no, I don't remember this thing. Can we play... Can we play a... a uh, can we play Granted? Why not? And is there a good finisher in this? There isn't really a good finisher, honestly, in the sideboard. I mean, Chandra? Okay. Ooh. Escape the walls into the escape to 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 the walls. It's like another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension. No, like though. The lab labyrinth of Skopos. Skopos. Giant killer lab. The everything here is just a little bit off. The tempo is playing in the labyrinth of Skopos in his five color deck. <laughs> it's mana base, it's good as mine. But I usually play. <laughs> Four colors and uh, I usually don't have these colors last day. I'm a little bit reasonable from time to time. From time to time, I'm a little bit reasonable. We're gonna get so goddamn many lands. I don't know if it's, how he's gonna be able to compete against this. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't care. I just want all the manas. That's the thing. I don't even care. I mean, I don't care. I truly don't care. <laughs> 
You'd be afraid. And I say, I don't care. Let's see. Forest? Are we getting all of How many cards? We have 28 left. Maybe I should have played the Shaman and actually tried to kill this guy. Could have been cool, you say. So yeah, are we gonna lose any cards now? No, we aren't. We have every card left. And yeah, we just smack in. Nordax is just watching. What are you, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's doing nothing. He's waiting for me to kill myself with <laughs> with my own greed, I think. Okay. Yeah, that giant killer. Give me a quick escape there. Let's see. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Mm-hmm. Did you have any way to recur the deck? If you're greed like me. <laughs> Maybe I need to alter the deck. For the ultra greed. I don't think he had prepared for my greed. My level of greed is usually quite exceptional. Quite exceptional. Um, we want to save all the cards, of course. So we're gonna make sure that we don't lose a single card. We're gonna burn his face. It's just... This thing is just so that we don't lose any of these cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Face. Face, face, face. Face, face, face. And face, face, face. Wait, can we burn him out this time? Yeah, I think we can burn him out this time. That's pretty good. Oh, almost. Very, very close. Now is the time you don't want an emblem, I think. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me who thinks that. Incubation. Ooh. Oh, we can kill him now. Stomp! Yeah, we need. Yeah, of course, we need to kill him with a copy. <laughs> got him! It's going pretty smooth. So, for the last game, we gotta do a best of three because the opponents have been. Not super strong. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that, that all respect to my opponents. Uh, but when they only play a one drop in 15 turns and nothing else, uh, I'm not considering that uh, to be overpowered at all. <laughs> Scorch bitter. Oh, you're gonna spit, huh? Gonna spit the Scorch. <laughs> We're the Spanish guy in the universe. <laughs> okay, I will keep on bone crushing. So what their opponent goes for? Go for an attacker. Enax! Well, if he has Enax, but he killed this first. He doesn't give up. Get a one then. That would be horrible. It would be horrible, and we don't want that. Where's the blockers? Frat blocker. Like Love Shrek. It's the fratest of them all. That's amazing, actually, because now we can do this, and his turn, we can double bounce. Or we can ba double bounce now and go in for five. Like the bounces we are, yeah? Why not? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Like taking candy from little children. Bunk, bunk. Annex. And the f oh my god, he's getting one damage. I'm liking that one bit. Hmm. That's what I think. I think we incubate ourselves. Ooh. Ooh the edge one in snips. Edge wall inch nips. Hmm. Do we just go bone crusher? I think. I think next turn is the beanstalk. Or is it this turn? Maybe set up this turn. Just set up for. Uh... Yeah, I mean. Oh, wait. <laughs> I should have played this first. <laughs> 
Okay. I think we're interested in seeing a pro playing this. To the uh, what more? <laughs> so a pro is gonna appear very soon and uh, do this. <laughs> That's what pros do, right? Uh, we're not putting down the edge wall. Not risking his life. No, no, no. That's a little bit. Okay, so... He could have a buff, which buffs his plus three. I don't think he has more than plus three. So, yeah. That's how it... Oh, the ember, of course. Of course that, that's a... Oh, it's still a good buff. Still, a, still the correct buff. A little bit lower. But any... Thing like this. Let's see here. Fey wishes. Granted. Let's see here. Return to nature is probably what we need. Is there anything else that is... Let's see here. Target enchantment. No, no, no. <laughs> Return to nature. And... Man, Domris and Bush will also be pretty sweet here. Yeah, I think we don't miss ambush also. We don't miss ambush, this guy. We got a one, but unfortunately. But it's not really getting through here. And he doesn't have the burn spell, so we'll put this down. No attacks. There's a lot of them though. A lot of them. Unless there's a haster. Haste and equip the ember cleave in the air, for instance. Never know. He has that flying thing. I think we actually do this. <laughs> it looks a little bit weird. Another Ember Kid! Okay. And a lot of those are close. Are we down to three? That's a little bit low. A little bit low, I would say. And lights up the stage. And Tibalt. That is dangerous. I think we're done. We're done, we're dead. And we can uh, return the Ember Cleave to nature. That won't do much. We can put down the Feyo Wishes. Um, hmm. Yeah, we need to return the Feyo Wishes and we need to get some... Ooh, how do we even do this? Sure, we can return to nature the Ember Cleave. It's not gonna be enough. And we put down this. And that's about it. That's about what we can do. We can. Okay. Buffs all his creatures. And spin powers. Well, we're close to that, but we're not dead. There we go. It's one damage. <laughs> okay. So we can play this to block the Chandra Spitfire. Go down to one. Let's see here. We played this, so we can attack him with Love Struck Beast. And then we attack him with Bone Crusher and Love Struck. And he could sacrifice both both things here. And then we can return the Fey Wishes. A little bit weird doing it this way. I probably should have. He could block now. Because we need to heal, that's the thing. <laughs> That's a thing now. Your top battle city. It's down to the ropes though. Okay. Good. Uh, so now we want to play Brazen Borrower to block with. So we can block his Chandra Spitfire and then we return our Fey wishes. 
and then hopefully we're fine. Unless he has the last burn spell. The last spell is burn spell. So we're wondering. Three minutes. Whew. I don't know. That doesn't do anything. He can destroy the Temple of Mystery if he wants to. That doesn't do anything either. We're close to them. We're not dead. <laughs> we're very, very close to death. Okay, I'm gonna tap this for blue then. Tap this for blue and play this. Draw a card. Oof, and I'm racing. That's amazing. And then we get to search for an island. It's actually perfect. Now we can brace and borrow in the devil if he comes in there. Which he probably doesn't now. Oh, we can brace and borrow in it. Brace and borrow with this. Brace and borrow with the Shauna Spitfire. And then we get the life gain. Ooh! We can return this also. Search for the life gain thing that he had in the sideboard. Ooh! <laughs> that was tight! That was tight. I did a hundred thousand misplays there also. Yeah, top of battle city. Let's see here. What do we bring in? What's this? It's red or green. Edgar seems like a good card against him. I think the escape to the wilds is way too slow. Let's bring in this. I think that's all we're gonna do here. Yes, this guy. Return to nature, maybe. Maybe Shadow Sphere. Shadow Spear. Oh, we can just search for it in the sidebar. It's better to find it in the sidebar, I think. Weirdly enough, the Domris Ambush has been the card you be very often search for. Should you main deck Domris Ambush in this? <laughs> Maybe. It's always the card you want. Mm. Ooh. No, no. No, 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 Oh, so we, we can do that. This is an instant. Yeah, yeah, we can do this during his turn. Let's see what plays are. Lights up the stage. Uh, we want him to light up the stage. Ah, we do it now. <laughs> this is gets awkward for him. <laughs> we want it on top, then he will, it will hit on the light up the stage, but he needs to play it next turn then. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward for him. A little bit awkward. Temple of Mystery. Well, we need a land to play next time, so... Guess we'll take that. Uh, but at the same time, I want to play Incubation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll also ship it. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just play everything in the wrong order. Hope that doesn't bother anyone. <laughs> okay. Gold Gate and the Grim Nation. Okay. Um, 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 um. Well, we definitely need a red Manas. Manus was red. His blood was green. <laughs> Beginning of my, my novel. I have a lot of novels. It's just one of them. Begins that way. Team Street Dodger. The Annex is a little bit annoying, isn't it? Do we kill the Team Street Dodger? That will give him a Seder. No, we need to kill the Annex. We need to kill the Annex. Yeah, we just take this. We just burn his face. I mean, we can't burn these. This gives him two things if I burn this. Uh, or do we gamble on drawing two of this? Ah, I think we just burn his face. Because we probably want to play this next time. So we'll call it. No blocks. Take it. Okay. Could go Fair Wishes. Go this. I think we're gonna have to play this as a blocker. We'll see. Okay, 
temple. Hmm. That could probably save us. I think I play this as a blocker. He's gonna draw his card or something. And no attacks. Stay on the blooks. Stay on the blooks. Man, the Alex is so annoying. I've never thought about how annoying this card is. When you don't have a way to just <laughs> move him instantly, as I usually have in all my decks. <laughs> so my decks are 90% removal. He's so, uh, for a normal deck, he's so annoying. The bangers. Maybe just block this guy. He could have the Ember Cleave. Surely has the Ember Cleave now. If he has the Ember Cleave, let's see here. That is nothing I can do, but then I'm done. If he has the Ember Cleave, I'm done. Didn't. Didn't have it. Okay. Two dudes. Let's go. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. Let's see here. If we can we play the beanstalk? We can actually play the beanstalk. And then next time we can haunch and start healing. We could also bounce. Bounce is scorch spitter. Block with everything. Nah, I think we actually do this. Oh, this of course. Let's <laughs> have this game. Reserve there. And yeah, no attacks. Let's see, how much damage? One, two, three, four, five. So we're down to three. But we can play the Great Haunch and start healing now. Huh? Yep. Pretty much. Now oh, we take one more. We go down to two. Go down to two. If he has the Ember Cleaver. Oh, yeah, I had that. I forgot about that thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that thing, yeah. Yup, 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 yup. I thought it would be a little bit less mono red in uh, best of three. Apparently not. Mono red is actually... It's probably pretty good against this deck, honestly. It's good against almost every deck. If it goes first, it's very few decks that even have a chance if it goes first. So we put in Storm's Wrath, maybe. Clear up the board. Could be a way. It's a little bit slow. Speed, 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 speed. Put in Dormer's Ambush. Put in Shadow Spear, maybe. Other Haunch. Ah, we just... We just draw good. We just gamble on drawing good. But yeah, Mono Red is... Ah, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> That's why you need to play Ors of... <laughs> Ors of Dance on the mass. Because it crunches them every time. Everything that's not Ors of, it's very difficult to deal with the things. I mean, Ors of, all of their removal kills the Annex, and it's not really a problem. And then you just board wipe, exile everything. Nothing is ever a problem for that deck. But for a normal deck, or for an other deck, which is not Ors of, it's not Ors of! <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, we gonna play first, yes. That is the Really good. I, I mean, I did a lot of misplays, though. Did a lot of misplays. But, uh... Maybe I can do this. Oh, I don't care. I'm gonna try to... Have a lot of things on the board. I think that's gonna be quite... Yeah. Couldn't have been the score speed at this time, no. Uh, yeah, we keep on the brace and more. Maybe play this as a blocker or something. Yeah. Another score spitter. Oh, this goes back to the hand at least. And... Yeah, now we have pretty good blockers. Maybe. Put this down. No attacks. This should be decent. Decent on the blues. Okay. Well, we're in trouble now. We can't deal with this. Oh, we can't put down this. God damn it. I think we do this anyways, because I'm so weird. And yeah, gain life points, pass turn. Because the next turn we can play Fey Wishes and kill this. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, 
We're down to... Oh, we're done. <laughs> member shout out! Mem mem member shout out! Thank you everyone so much for watching! There's so many new members! Thank you everyone so much! A special thank you of course to our dear member! Mamma, here they come! Oh! <laughs> Blue Dragon, Adam Alexis, Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Shamanic Spencer, Hofsty, Alex, Mike, Nathaniel, Nissan, Laser Set, The Standard, Zero Two Three Four, Jeff Henry, leading into it, Michael W, Pokey U, Matthias Pauli, Topless Investments, Chorus 1107, W, Lutz 978, PE Label, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Wisa, Accumulated 23 Way, Mesomach 1, Ye Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Week, Rowing Bar 2002, 4K Television, You Light, Moonlight Star, Drake Edge 2000, Dave Steer, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Rage Not, Simple Human, Badass Even Up, John Domian, Gesusaki, Own 77, Sam Williams, on Ellie Curtis, Noah BH, MC Hermes, Faceix, uh, Fumiaki, Kinoshita, Acres Ascending, Jacob, Poki Floren, Dam Drone, Stephen Draminski, Strange Bronta, Donkey Kong, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dot and Jake, Dan Lead, Santa John, Stan Eric Bakken, The McDunkin, Chloe, Roba, Kuna, Chase Close, John Lacava, II, Honsa Kost, Jingai, Michael Cupido, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Nicolas Anotti, Nethervex, Andrew Blank, Aaron Noble, Adam Alexis, Batsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callas is Mist, Colo Balumbo, Chloe, Coop Cooper, Dan Goodsell, David Hanel, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Dr. Jaden, Drew Stiles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stepson, Jeff Georgia, Infinite Draw, Javier Diaz, Kason, Magneto, Mrs. Mrs. Smith, Neo Terror, Ninja Longdom, Marango Mango, Piotr Stalorsk, Pote, um, Prince Mok, Magok, Esquire, Rainbow Cake, Search, Karamaru, Super, Super Noodle 7, Wonder Bread, X Covenant X, Mythic Gaming, Musketeer, Mr. Thule, Tom Q, the Michael, Robert Lewis, Yoma Saho, Adam Ruth, Rhett Khan, Butt With Ass, Barbara McKenley, Named the Epithet, The Lurgarp, Stricker Mike, Toffer Scott, 7 Guys 777, Brian Wood, Postal Guru, Anthony Dibble, Mentosaurus, Katie Griggs, Rufino, A. Oregano, Big Bob MTG, Jack Rian, Patrick Hennig, Liquid E, uh, Ben Jones, uh, Jose De Jesus, Regalado, Aguayo, Mark Logalo, Cracker GF, Ian Moss, Michael Cupido, Juan Tu Ying, Vincent Baudet. You guys are amazing. If you also want to become a dark disciple and help rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Also, thank you to the Matronis on Patreon. Give me the likes on down there. Thank you.